so hello guys and welcome to my channel today again i am back with, with another important numericals on transmission line design sir. so here we have a given numericals as an overhead line having a span of 350 meters is to be erected at a temperature of 40 degrees celsius in steel air worst weather condition to which the line may be subjected to reach 0 degrees celsius and wind pressure is given as 350 newton per meter square acting on two third of exposed area and here the overall diameter of conductor is 2 centimeters and the cross section area is 230 centimeter square and the conductor weight here and here we have the conductor weight is given as 8.81 newton per meters similarly the braking load young's model also and Young's model of elasticity and coefficient of linear expansion size given as here 7.618 into 10 power 4 newtons. And similarly, model of elasticity is here 8.89 into 10 to the power 10 newton per meter square. And also, the coefficient of linear expansion is given as 19 into 10 power 6 per degree Celsius. And factor of safety is given as 2.5. And find sag and tensions under conditions of line erections. And here we have to find the sag and tensions under the condition for line erections and here we have the relation as here t2 square here we have t2 square equal to t2 minus n equals to m and here you have m is equals to a, a e w2 square l square upon 24 and here a is the cross section area e is the young's modulus of elasticity and here w2 is the weight of conductors at uh, at fair conditions and here is the span length similarly n equals to t1 minus a e w1 square l square upon 24 t1 and minus a e alpha theta 2 minus theta 1 and here t1 is the ten tensions and similarly w1 is the weight at worst weather at worst weather conditions so here we will calculate the value of w1 here so w1 is the weight of conductor at worst weather conditions so to calculate w1 here we can see and here this is w1 and this is the weight due to wind similarly weight due to conductors here this is wc so to calculate w1 we have the relation as w1 is called so root under wc square plus ww square and to calculate wind weight of wind we have weight of wind equal to pw into 2 third into d as in the questions here we have Here overall diameter of conductor e, here we have wind pressure equal to 350 newton per meter square acting on two third of exposed area said here. So here we will calculate the weight of wind as WW equals to PW into two third into D and PW is given as 350. So 350 into two third into D and the value of D is here diameter as 2 into 10 power minus uh, means 2 centimeters means 2 centimeters 2 into 10 power minus 2. So we will get the value of W W R and here we know W1 is cost here W C plus W W square and W C is given as 8.81 means weight of conduct is given as 8.81 newtons and uh, newton per meters. So if we use this value means uh, the value of W W we will be able to know the value of W1. Sir. So once we if we calculate the value we will get here the value of W1 as 9.96 newton meters. And here W2 is equals to WC and that is going to give 8.8 Newton per meter. And here we have Newton per meter. Now here we have given the braking load and safety factor. So with the use of braking load and safety factor, we will be able to note the value of T1 and T1 is the allowable tension at worst weather conditions. So at worst weather conditions, the allowable tension T1 is braking load upon safety factors. And here the braking load is given in the question as 7.618 into 10 to the power 4 upon safety factor is given as 2.5. So if you calculate, we will get here 30475 newtons. And, and here we have M given as m is equals to ae w2 square l square upon 24 and if you substitute the value of ae w2 l square we will get the value of m similarly if you calculate 
uh, here we have the, the value for n is equals to t1 minus a e w1 square l square upon time for t1 square minus a e alpha and theta 2 minus t1 and if we substitute the value of t1 a e w1 square l square and here t1 similarly if we substitute the value of alpha here and a and similarly theta 2 and theta 1 so we will get the value of n and here I have calculated the value for m and n. So if you calculate the value of m, we will get here 7.2 into 10 to the power 12 as all the parameters are given. Now if you calculate the value of n, we will get here. So once we solve, we will get here the value of n as 5015.85. And, and here we have the relation for m and n. So here we have the relation as t2 square equal t2 square into t2 minus n equals to m and just we have known the value of n and m so if you substitute the value of m and n in this equations we will get the value of t2 so here we have so if you calculate the value we will get the value of t2 here so right now this is in cubic this is the cubic equations so you can simply solve this equation with the help of calculators so once you solve this with the help of calculators, we will get the value of T2. So solving will get the value of T2 as T2 equals to 21134.7 newtons. Similarly, we have to calculate the sac 2. So sac for fair weather condition is formula W2 L square upon 8 T2. So W2 is 8.81 and L is a span length means 330 meters is given and 8 into T2. And just now we have calculated the value of T2. And here we have known the value of T2 as 21134.7. And if you calculate this, you will get the value for sag under fair weather conditions. So you will get here 5.674 meters. So in this we can calculate the value for sag and tension for fair weather conditions. Hope you understand and enjoy the lecture. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.